Hey, Les Lethal people. So I'm here tonight with my uh, other favorite less lethal tool for home defense or truck defense if it's legal where you live. As of most of you by now know, I've been favoring the Salt Supply S2. I find that to be great, reliable, I love it. My next uh, handheld that I'm looking at is the Grimberg Gavel or holding out until the Solstice comes out. I haven't decided yet, but I am on the fence. After watching DK's uh, Gavel video, I don't know what it's calling me. It's definitely tempting. So my other favorite, so that's for my handheld launcher is my Salt Supply S2. My long launcher is my Vulcan M17. And I have the whole Home Defense 24 kit on here. Uh, the only thing that's not Home Defense 24 kit is the detent. I also use the John Wixon detent, just like DK and like um, Sean Kempter. I find those are, they surpass all other detents. He makes the best uh, detents for this M17. I will tell you the quality of this build is fantastic. And I asked uh, Sean Kempter from Less Lethal for Dummies to do me a favor and try the Zeta Mag with the Zeta Magwell on it, which I will be purchasing one this week for this marker. My intentions are to have a long launcher like this, and I'm going to also make another pistol uh, size launcher or short barreled launcher sbl as i like to coin it the short barrel launcher so i will be making another one of these in the future for myself for a smaller one and on that one the hard thing i'm having a hard job finding is a 9 ci tank i want a short tank on it so what my video tonight is going to talk about and show a little bit of is if you've seen my previous video a few weeks ago I shot some BK Kinetics and they performed great out of this M17. I shot the hot water heater in my other video and it went right through the metal. I took a couple of shots at that. These BK Kinetics were great in this. But here's my issue. The thing that sucks is the magazine. That's why I asked Sean to do the video, which he just did uh, um, <clears throat> using the Zeta mags. So, all of my 10.5 gram DK or BK Kinetics work fine in the stock magazine. However, the heavier ones, the 13 gram ones, well, the 13.4 worked fine, but after I went up to like 13.6, um, I found it was having a difficulty in the magazine. So what I did was I took another magazine I ripped the winder out and I took the spring from that. I compressed the two springs together. I put them in here and I put a, um, a rubber boot from like a, 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 a carburetor vacuum on the end of, on the bottom of this. And I kind of modified it without taking it apart. It's very difficult for me to say it to you, but I'm not going to take it apart. But anyway, we have basically a regular magazine. And in doing so, I can take the BK Kinetics and put them in here fine. One, two, three. And I can fill up the magazine because now I have a lot of pressure on it. And when it's released, they all come out just fine from here. So there's no issue with it whatsoever. And they work great. These BK Kinetics, even though they may not have been purposely designed to be bore match to the M17, uh, the um, Home Defense 24 M17 barrel, they really are. I mean, they are a perfect, perfect, perfect fit. As you can see, you can't even see air, and they, as they drop one on the floor and throw it out. If you look, they slide down nice and slow. That's without even me covering the barrel or anything. So I just put it in the back, and they like butter perfectly. Now, they are great 
for the home defense 24 and i'm getting really good readings on these like i'm getting with these 10.5 grams i'm getting like 408 410 feet per second i'm getting in the high in the high 80 joules with them close to 90 joules on most of them but what i have noticed the joule v3s as i just put one in here they get stuck and don't want to come out they get stuck pretty good in here. So they're too big for this particular launcher. How are we gonna get it out? We're gonna send a BK, we're gonna send the kinetic down. No, well, can't even try to get them out. I'll have to stick a stick down there to get it out. But what I wanna to test tonight is, cause you've seen me shoot that, I want to test the stock barrel because this is going to be my next build. I'm going to use a 9CI tank if I could find one and the shorty over here. And what I've been noticing is the Grimberg Jewel V3s are bore match perfectly for the stock barrel on the M17. Okay, so I'm curious tonight to see what the FPS is and what the jewels that I get when I put the short barrel on. I know I'm gonna lose some power because the barrel is so much shorter than the Home Defense 24 one. But nonetheless, I still would like to see. Now you have to put the O-ring on. And let's we'll screw it in. And let's load up three. Let me see if I have air for Yeah, I'm pumped up all the way almost to the top. Let's put three Grimberg jewels. Now the question is, these are only 7.9 grams and I have the modified magazine, will they hold? And the answer is yes, they hold beautifully. Okay, so I have three in there. We're gonna Light this bad boy up and put it on. Right, I'm gonna get my bearing straight here. Okay, it's on safety, I don't have to worry. I'm all fired up. And I think this is gonna look pretty bad with a shorter tank and making a pistol or a short barrel launcher out of it okay we're good if you could see in the hole we got a ball probably can't see in the hole i'm gonna come over to our target here we have then i want to talk a little bit about let's see what fps we get out of this and uh, so remember there's 7.9 grams i'll leave the jewels down in the in the description I'm gonna put these on, see what we get out of it. Hmm. Not too impressed. I just got 372 with the Grimberg Jewels. Why I'm not impressed, there's 7.9 grams. I used the 10.6 grams with the BK Kinetics, and I got 408, 410 feet per second with the longer barrel using BK Kinetics. So 372, that's a major decrease, and then they, these are much lighter. 372 again, complete consistency though. Let's try this. Let's put 
Let's not shoot the third one. Let's throw two BK kinetics in here. Put it on safe. Let's see what we do with some BK kinetics. We got one, two. So we're still using the short barrel. So we really lose a ton of power. Now these are 10.6 grams, or 10.5 grams, I'm sorry. Three twenty-two. So yeah, I'm losing a tremendous amount of power. I shattered that kinetic. Yep, three eighteen. So let's put it on safe for a few seconds. And We'll discuss that in a minute. It's still powerful, don't get me wrong. Oh, I put in too good a minute. It's still powerful, don't get me wrong, but the difference between this barrel and the stock barrel is huge. Absolutely huge. Um, let me do this. Let's do it on camera. Once again, let's take this off or I'm safe. Now remember, we have the stuck projectile in here and a bull. So two, there's two projectiles in here. I'm just gonna blow them out really quick. And then we're gonna do, so we had 322, 372 with this with the 7.9 gram. 372 with the 7.9 gram. And we had, I think it was 322 and 318 with the 10.5 gram. Uh, then we're gonna test after I clear this. Take a BK kinetic, load it in, 10.6 gram, and let's see what we get out of a home defense 24. Remember, which the other number was 322 and 318. Let's see what the difference is now with the chronograph. Let's get it over there. Uh, got it on fire. Zero, zero. Same issue Sean has. You got to put more than one. The last one stays in there. All right, now we're good. All right, let's try it. Zero zero. C four oh six. All I did was change the barrel, and it went from three twenty two to four oh six. I got almost a hundred feet per second more, a little less but like 90 something feet per second. That's significant. 404. 318 to 404, just by changing the barrel. That's incredible. So using DK's kinetics, bore match to the Home Defense 24 long barrel, 404, 406 feet per second. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. 
Um, I can't believe the difference. It honestly probably doesn't even pay to make a, a pistol version. Uh, as much as I do like the idea and everything, the amount of power to lose a, almost 100 and it's like 80 something feet per second, 90 something feet per second less with the short barrel. It's, it, it's crazy. Anyway, oh, I realized why that first one didn't go off. I'm lucky the second one did. I forgot to swap out the rubber O-ring. What happens is sometimes if you don't put the O-ring, it rests up against your projectile. You gotta put the rubber O-ring on. I was lucky it shot. So we live and we learn, we forget things sometimes. Thank God I was playing with the other thing. Anyway, just one more thing to talk about. If you do not have an M17 already, I highly suggest you get yourself one and do one of these builds. If you are a person that likes the AR platform and you live in an area where you can't own an AR platform, this is a fantastic home defense tool. And I love it because it accepts everything, all the furniture you could really, you know, do on that. Um, and if you do already have an AR, a real AR, this is a great, less lethal to add to your collection because you could swap different furniture from your real AR to this and vice versa. And you'll really be, um, really be set. I can't say enough of good things about this. I absolutely positively love this marker and it was one of my favorites to build. It, it, it was fairly easy to build. I mean, it took a, a little bit of work with the spring group in here, but otherwise it was really a fun build and I really like it. It's just, it's, it's a rocking launcher. That's it. I did the same thing DK does. These bars do not fit. The stock mount, I took it out, I marked it, I made a hole, and then, well, I made a little mark with a punch, and then I drilled a hole so that it would fit in here, and I put a little piece of rubber up here so if I have to rest my cheek on it, I can rest my cheek on it. I do like the way the shorter ones look, but hands down, you're talking probably a loss of 20, 30 joules in power just by using the short barrel on it. Anyway, that's just my little takeaway for the night. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Talk to you soon.